Jeremy here from uh, Crazy Camper Crew. I, uh, we're starting our next new big project. Um, we're going to be resurfacing some countertops and uh, that we have in the camper. And uh, this is our. This is. Let me show you what we've got. Now, what we're looking at is a uh, an old coachman. We've done some work too, um, and we will be not necessarily. Re we're just going to be putting laminate stick down tile on all the countertops throughout the camper. Now. As you can see, what we've done before for last year, um, just because we were on a tighter budget, we wanted to use it and make it presentable. So we spray painted it black, and then we took some a red duct tape to trim the edges, and it, it looked pretty decent for what it was. You can probably see uh, some of that on the earlier videos. What we're going to be doing is removing all the hardware, re removing the sink and faucet. We're going to be laying down the new uh, laminate that we have. We bought one box of it, and we decided to use this panel laminate lay down um, and we're going to be doing everything here all the tops all right looking underneath the sink to remove the sink it's it's pretty simple um, there's four wing nuts we're just going to unscrew them all from all the sides all right and then if you look down here where the faucet uh, is it's just it's pretty simple just some plastic uh, plumbing fixtures that we unscrew and pull it right out of place. Okay, so we've got uh, the sink removed. We've got all the hardware off. We got it nice and clean, um, free of dust. Now these pieces here, unlike the square peel and stick, they're not adhesive on the bottom. They are adhesive on the overlays here. So the bottom of this piece, let me show you on this one here. This would go here. So the bottom of this right here is sticky and then the top of the gray piece here is sticky so once you put them together you'll be able to piece them together put them exactly where they need to be and then make sure that you get the seam completely down and you stick it together and we're going to continue and move all the way across and we're going to come back through and make sure we cut the hole the right size for the, uh, the sink and for the faucets um, and then around the corners we're going to put the trim down and it will stay in place with the uh, the edging. So that's what will prevent that from moving around. So that's what uh, that's where we're at right now. And obviously we'll just take a, a little utility knife to score the edges and then break them. And they're coming together. Uh, they're coming apart pretty good. So. Okay, we got the top all cut for this. Did it as best I can. It's not perfect, but the good thing is the the, the um, edging that I've got will cover up any mistakes or blemishes. Um, and I put the sink completely on. I'm going to have to run a bead of cock underneath this before um, I do that. I've got to drill some holes so these can come through. But it makes a huge difference, a new, huge improvement on this, so far anyway. It's coming together. You get two tops done. And you're doing this little one over here. This one where the, uh, uh, the stove top goes, and then that little piece right over there. Okay, the countertop is all completed. It looks pretty good for an amateur. I'm not a professional carpenter, so some of the corners aren't exactly perfect, but at a distance it looks great. You got the laminate down. You got our trim, sand, caulked and painted on the whole camper. And it really made a huge, huge impact on the overall look of the camper. So, it only took probably a collective couple hours to do the entire job.